Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. Gabby and I are here visiting our friend Tom Crutchfield. He just had a baby crocodile monitor hatch out. So we're gonna come visit that, check it out, and then see some of the adults too. Now we believe this baby is a product of parthenogenesis, which means that the mother has never been with a male and is producing this baby as a clone, which is a really, really amazing thing that several species of reptiles have been documented doing. So we're gonna check this one out and it should be absolutely amazing. So by the way guys, this is Quasi's dad. This is Roscoe. He's getting some back scratches. Look at him, he loves it. <laughs> yeah, he right. does. He loves it. Hi Roscoe, he's the best. There you go buddy. So yeah, if you guys saw a recent video with Quasimodo, this is Quasimodo's father. <laughs> Looks a like a very boy. proud, proud daddy. I love him. All right, guys, so this is the proud mother. This is Jimmy, the crocodile monitor. I'm gonna put an egg down. Hey, look. Oh, look, look at her. She's literally resting her body weight onto me right now. Yeah, she's happy. <laughs> look how happy she is. Oh my goodness. She's the best. It just makes you wanna like tear up. You know, when one of them learns to trust humans like this and just walks over and her body weight is on me. She's completely relaxed, doesn't feel threatened at all. Yeah, she, yeah it's Tom just said she's choosing to come over here and hang out with me. It's awesome. so cool. <laughs> just the personality on these lizards is incredible. and especially juxtaposed next to how potentially dangerous these lizards are. We do like to make that one clear that if they're not well taken care of, uh, the, a bite from one of these things is insane. Their teeth, yeah, it could be. Yeah, as Tom just said, uh, uh, it's a potentially lethal animal for how they can bite. Here, let's see, I'm gonna put an egg right up there, you want it? There you go. And grab it. A little nervous. <laughs> well, she don't want to bite. Uh, yeah, she definitely doesn't want. Oh, now it's under you. It's underneath you. <laughs> Look, eggs over there. Look. Look. It's under your head. <laughs> so that's one of her older eggs I'm getting her inquisitive about. So that was an infertile egg of hers. And she's just checking it out because I'm moving it around. What is that? What is that thing, huh? Now, Jimmy is funny in that uh, she is okay with people, as you can see, but she does not like other croc monitors. Or maybe she'll get interested in this again. You want one of these? You want one of the eggs? No? <laughs> yeah, they're so beautiful, though. Yeah, she's all about this thing. Yeah, right? she is. Look at her. It's so funny. What is that, huh? What is that weird thing? What is that? Hi. Hi, pretty girl. Yeah. So as beautiful as this lizard is, we do like to reiterate that this is definitely not an animal that is good for a pet for anybody. Uh, now they're very intelligent, they can be trained as you can see right here, but a bite from one of these, if you don't know what you're doing, can put you in the hospital or worse. They have incredibly long serrated teeth and uh, I mean, they're called a croc monitor for a reason. And a bite from even an animal of this size 
would be devastating. I've seen photos of people from uh, who have been bitten by them. It looks like somebody took a steak knife and just put it right in their hand. So as you can see, they're not an aggressive animal at all. They're beautiful, they're incredible, they're intelligent, inquisitive, but definitely not like a beginner pet for anybody. These are definitely animals that should only be kept by experienced people. There you go. Look at that, huh? Whoa! <laughs> you trying to share with me? That one slipped right out. There it is. Now her teeth are actually hidden behind those. Oh, there, that's some action. <laughs> oh my god that was a huge did, fart did we get that audio goodness. Oh, oh my goodness <laughs> yeah. some don't have that many manners here that was a huge fart what you doing huh you checking me out <laughs> oh, your claws are very sharp. I know you want to climb on me, but your claws are very, very sharp. She's a total sweetheart, but man, those claws are no really joke. sharp. But she literally just wants to climb up on me like a tree right now. Uh, let's not do that. <laughs> your claws hurt. Oh, you're already getting in my arm. <laughs> yeah, you can see right there. I mean, she's very, very sweet, but man, those things hurt. Okay, a bite from one of these too, even if it's a bite on the finger from a rather small one, a bite from one this size could get you on the finger, it would remove the finger, even if it was just a warning bite. I took a warning bite some years ago from the one over here, the female, after I was separating a fight between the two of them, and I had put a net on her, and she just looked at me, bit me on my finger and let it go, and she literally has crippled my finger. This is all I can bend it. And I have no feeling at all on this side, and it's uh, crooked forever. And that's just a warning bite. Just a warning bite. So you can imagine what From one of these animals small can. One. Yeah. Imagine an animal that size that oh, wants to, feels threatened for its life, and has intent behind a bite, the amount of damage that could do. Come on out here, buddy. As you can see, they're not aggressive. You know, this one's just hanging out with Tom right now. They're they not want, an aggressive they animal. Eggs real bad. Go, go get those eggs. Do you mind getting those eggs and just bring them in here? And I'm going to put some up here for him. Come on over here, bud. I'm going to get you eggs. Not Nothing like being rotten eggs to the dragon. You want to get on this side? Well, look at that. Well, I'm getting him just coming out, showing his size. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at the claws. And I don't have small hands. So I was saying when Jimmy was crawling up on me, I'm like, no, no, I love you, but I don't want those claws mm -hmm. on my face. Massive animal. <laughs> yeah, I used to look at him. He is so impressive. Hey girl. Hey folks. This is on breeding along from a zoo that considered this too dangerous to keep anymore. Wow. Not so much now. <laughs> <laughs> she uh her name is Bo and she's real, real tame. She's beautiful. Friendly. Shows what knowledge and experience can do. Yeah, they didn't have a big enough habitat for part of it. Look at, look at the tail too, she's... 
How long do you think it is? Seven and a half, eight feet. I mean, it's got to be seven and a half. Yeah. No, maybe eight. You want to talk about the uh, tail and our boreal nature? Yeah, actually, it's pretty hefty too. So. Yeah. So they'll use this tail to help hold on to limbs and branches and when they're climbing through trees and their native range. And they are the longest of all living lizards. Uh, having been, there's been individual specimens measured of these and at a couple of feet longer than Komodo dragons, at least 12 feet. Wow. And some authorities think these may reach 16 feet in length. Wouldn't that be incredible? So this is Jimmy's new baby. This is a baby crocodile monitor, and this one is produced via parthenogenesis. So that means that Jimmy was not with a male and produced this basically via cloning. So this has been documented with uh, several snake species, lizard species. Komodo dragon would be the closest thing to these guys. It's been documented as reproducing via parthenogenesis, and it's just an incredible concept reproducing, cloning yourself without a mate. So imagine if one of these ended up on a deserted island, no mate there, and make can clone own. and make your own. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the uh, Brahmini blind snakes we have invasive here, they're all clones. That's the only way those snakes actually reproduce. And they're the most widespread snake in the world. But this is just so cool. Now, if you notice, I'm being real careful, moving real slow. It's a brand new baby. We don't want to scare it. And I also don't want it to leap away onto the ground. So that's why I'm just kind of holding this pose and being very, very still. Uh, this little guy hatched about four days ago. Uh, it's one of the coolest species I've ever bred, certainly. And uh, it, it, for me, it was a biggie. It was my first, it had been bred before very few times, but for me, this was a biggie. Interestingly enough, too, the day this egg pipped, the mother of this one, laid nine more eggs and three of them this time look perfect so how about that that's incredible and she has not made it no like and you've had her how long and i've had her well i've had her for probably five years but she was imported as a small one and a juvenile and the man that raised her i'm in touch with him all the time gene bazan jimmy never tolerated it enough. she's never been with a male monitor so never been with another with a male, never made it before, and has produced this viable baby and then possibly three more viable eggs. We're going to do tissue samples on this one and on the mother to make sure it's a part of the Genesis reproduction, but I'm a really 99, 100% Yeah. Well, how else could it be? It's, right? No other way. It's, it's a concept that a lot of people don't know about and don't understand is that, you know, they can actually produce offspring without ever having been with the opposite sex. Just so absolutely incredible. What a perfect little creature, too. He is. It's just like looking up at me right now. I mean, these are one of my favorite reptiles in the world by far. They're so fascinating. They're so intelligent. And this one is just a four day or four day old baby. And it's just taking it all in, looking around. It's learning. Absolutely. It's so learning. Cool. And you know what it's learning right now, most of all? Not humans are not yeah. going to harm it. Otherwise, it wouldn't sit there. Yeah, yeah. All right, so it was really cool to be able to meet the baby crocodile monitor and then some adults too. I want to say a big thank you to Tom Crutchfield. My pleasure. I've been friends with him for many years and he is just doing amazing work with these crocodile monitors. So let us know in the comments what you guys think. Hit like, share the video, and we'll see you on the next episode.